a general rule of 3D modeling is that you shouldn't model with subdivisions enabled always. And that is mostly true because you might have something like this that you think, hey, it's a good mesh, but the actual mesh without the subdivision is absolute crap. However, today I'm going to show you a little technique where we are going to ignore that rule and that is mostly useful to experiment and come up with interesting ideas or shapes. Uh, you don't have a lot of precision with it, but as I've said, you can come with some interesting stuff. So we can start maybe with a cube and we are going to add some subdivision to it. Uh, let's see, let's go to subdivision surface. Uh, let's start with two levels, all right? So right now you can take this cube, do something like this. We can maybe do an inset and that is going to make something like that, for example. Let me do something else. Let's take this, extrude this, for example. Let's add a loop here. And maybe another inset here. All right. We have something like that. And right now, right now I am just, you know, experimenting. Um, you can always turn on this if you want the mesh of the subdivision to be um, wrapped, like the actual mesh, you know. So we can maybe delete this. And we can then merge this. And then this. And we can add a thing here and move that there. We can, for example, take a little insert here, move this like so. Let's do another one here and let's extrude this just like that. And we can then maybe bridge this. We can go ahead, select all of these and shrink it a little bit. Something like that. We are going to turn on shade smooth for this. And as you can see, we already have some kind of interesting shape in just a few minutes that will be kind of complicated to make um, with other methods. Let's say, for example, that, I don't know, let's subdivide this to add a little bit of definition there. Maybe we want to have a hold here, something like that, whatever you want, you know, just experiment moving stuff around, right? Uh, let's now take this scale it here a bit and we are going to do a little well I'm actually going to have an inset another extrusion and let's drag a loop here just like that let's make sure this is uh, a flatten inset Extrusion. Let's make the border here. Sometimes you might want to disable this to have a better control of the stuff. We can do something like that. And then another loop to have something here. And yeah, I'm just, just you know, experimenting stuff. Uh, we might want to subdivide this and then this so we can connect this now of course i am i'm already expecting you to know how to use blender the different modeling techniques here i'm just so showing you um, a workflow that you can use 
to come up with some interesting stuff. Uh, let's maybe add a little bit of sharpness there. All right. And now if we turn off the subdivision, we are having something like this. That looks awful. But the good thing about this workflow is that now we can apply the subdivision and we can add a decimate modifier with the unsubdivide mode. And basically here you always want to have um, iterations that are multiples of two. So let's say if you have one, it's going to create a little weird mesh with like 45 degree angles. If you had two, you see you will have a quad mesh that we can work on. And four is going to basically give us the lowest poly version um, that we can have. And as you can see, this looks better with the decimate on than what we had with the subdivision surface turned off. We are going to keep it at two iterations. We can now apply. And now if we want, we can add another subdivision surface and we can now do even more fine detail, All right? So let's say we have something like so. We can turn on this slide. Say we want a little thing here, like so, and maybe bridge this. And there we have something like that, and you get the idea. This is basically a way that you can work with to come up with some interesting shapes. I'm going to drag that there, merge it. And let's say we want to squeeze this here. Maybe move this. And as you can see, we can easily create some pretty complex organic shapes in just a few moments. So again, we can apply this. This is what our mesh looks like. Looks pretty clean. Um, we have uh, some issues here that we can fix. Um, but um, yeah, that's basically the workflow. You can then again come here with a decimate and subdivide and two iterations. We are going to have something like this. And you can go here on four and you are still with, uh, with a bad mesh, but not as awful as what we had to start with. All right. So yeah, that's basically the workflow. Again, you can texture this and I might also do that actually. Uh, let's see what I can come up with. So this is basically what I come up with. Uh, the texturing is pretty awful. I will mostly take this to Substance Painter and do some proper texturing on it. But yet, uh, the point of this video is to show you this workflow where you can experiment with shapes, extruding stuff and merging and bridging faces together to make some interesting organic shapes. So hopefully you can come up with some fun stuff with it and if you like the video you found it useful please like subscribe uh, for more content like this and share the video to other people that might benefit from it all right uh, have a nice day and i will see you in the next video thanks